Hey everyone, David Vibes here with another Division Diary episode 2 and this is just 3 of us deciding to go rogue we actually get 10 player kills in under 3 minutes boom here's the first one, guy down super quick you know crazy and I running mp5s that were bought as blueprints high up in the DZ and rolled and his grenade pops here, I don't want to go through it, I take a few shots but I back up and cleared out that npc so we don't have that extra damage going on and of course I popped health, I popped my pulse we got EMP, so I can't use my abilities right now, but you know, taking cover, rolling, and then fire everywhere. Man, this, this got me scared. I thought I was dead at this point. So I noticed this guy was on my left, and I said, let me roll and get behind him. So that's why I'm rolling. That, that doesn't out the fire. Get behind him. He jumps away. Now I decide he's focused on me. Let me get out of the way, and hopefully one of my teammates can take this guy on. I take cover. Crazy does run up and pops him. He's chasing him now, look at this guy, they're fighting, crazy pops help, I'm helping to put some extra damage on it. And we're going to now chase this guy, I'm getting shot in the back so I want to roll, <laughs> I end up hitting this truck but we're chasing this guy. Crazy's ahead of me, I didn't run into that door properly but you know, I helped to finish him off with some shots and immediately I'm going to tuck in and break line aside to get some cover. I pop the pulse, this guy's using his marksman rifle, so I pop up, put some shots on him, basically draw his attention and Crazy is able to run up and flank him while I'm doing that. So, you know, you draw aggro and let a teammate run up. It does take a, a bit of understanding, Crazy and I have run together quite a bit, he's, he's like a professional rogue. I notice I get hit here by the sticky, but you know, somebody's gold is over there, man, I feel sorry for them. But once again, I draw aggro, Crazy runs up, finishes him off. It happens exactly here again, and that's something that's important. Don't have everybody play defensive. Have one draw the attention, and then the other one runs up and, and picks that guy off. Yeah, that's generally what it does. Here, I toss a grenade. The guy is still in cover. Why the grenade is there? Crazy is running up. I come up immediately behind him, helping to put aggro. We get hit, so I just immediately run behind cover. This guy is super low. I really want to get him. Don't have incendiary bullets. I pull up more explosive bullets instead start hitting this guy but his health is back and so he's, he's getting really crazy we got two guys back here this guy's down but he's using the revive loop so he stands right back up look at this he's down he gets right back up there's nobody to revive him but he gets back up and then we, we down the next player he decides with no health to run to go and res that player immediately we kill him put this guy down crazy was focused on the guy in the back and he's down as well and that's how we do it, that's how we kill 10 players in under 3 minutes. Really a lot of fun and that's just part of the division, that's the PvP zone. And then here's the, the second clip, final clip in the diary. Actually going to end up having to defend myself. I went rogue, killed 3 guys earlier, obviously that starts a vendetta. I know they're going to be coming for me, they're around here, so I'm setting up upstairs. I have an exit plan. I'm watching these agents downstairs as well, but... Hey, let me shoot these guys. Scoped in and notice I'm getting hit in the back. Immediately start moving. Most people would die here. Even I thought I was going to die, but focus on getting to my exit. Roll. I mean, people are aiming at, at, at eye level or chest level. So I'm, I'm rolling, which keeps me low. Roll down the stairs. This guy is maximum up. Immediately melt him. Turn around. Pop my defensive super, break line of sight, toss a grenade. I don't care which grenade, I just toss the grenade out there just to cause some damage. Melt this guy, finish him off, reload, and this is using my vector now. And then his body's at the top of the stairs, which they should have really come together. And then kill him and, and give them a hand. So that's how I survived a 1v3 ambush situation.